since this text has some elements on nonverbal communication. I will ask you to freeze in that position. Yep, right there. Do not move. And now you tell me, what state are you in on a conscious and a subconscious level? What is your state or positioning telling you right now about you and how you're feeling? How are you holding your body? Where are you in relationship to other things? Are you touching some other parts of body, bags, chair, tie, or maybe even somebody else? That's all called prochemics. It's basically interrelated observation on how we use our space and also how close we are to the other people. How's your breathing? Because this is just a small part of more than 700,000 different movements. Basically, all of you can describe to me what a sad or happy person looks like or any other emotion as a matter of fact. That is something that you know from your personal practice, from your experience. Also, just so you know, your physical position right now and your expectations will predetermine how will you experience me and this information. So please straighten up your back, open up your hands and your mind. And I know, I, I'm not sure why I've chosen this subject when you're a perfect reader of others. It is just a matter of concentration. And we all know that 93% information is expressed to nonverbal information, which will be totally different than the actual words. Imagine I say I love you, and in the same time, I start making funny faces on the side. Since the actual importance of the world, the verbal communication, it's registered on just 7%. 38 goes to intonation of our voice, and 58%, it's all about kinesthetic movement. And that is what matters the most. That predetermines how the message will be absorbed. Words, words can lie, but body, body never lies. Even the one that is taught and learned how to lie. Pay attention to people, even on the TV and such. A lot of my friends ask me to teach them the NLP, uh, nonverbal communication, just so they can improve their first impression. But for me, that's kind of funny, since no one can fake it all the way. Yes, you may be able to learn the small signals like shaking the hands, positioning of the body, how you approach somebody, but the basic information, it's written all over you. But here's how you can easily know if somebody's authentic or not. If their move is prior to the word, then they're authentic and honest. But if the movement follows the word, then that is a learned behavior and it's not authentic. But you are an ideal scanner of all the people, and you can scan anybody in less than five seconds on a much deeper level than what you can hear or touch on a subconscious level, and that is all that matters. That is why they say, who you are, shout so loud that no matter what they say, will get on its way. Because our body registered over 600,000 bits of information per second. It's a huge receptor. Nothing can pass by you. And here's why. All matters made of more than 99,999% of energy, yeah? Then your atom consists of protons and neutrons. They're made of quarks, which are always rotating around electrons in order to hold it in the orbit to prevent the nucleus from falling apart. Otherwise, we will not be able to exist. And then the mass of the typical body cell, it's only one gram times 10 to the negative nine, basically one nanogram. And just do the math. Since the human body consists about 100 trillion cells, and then average cell consists of 10 septillion atoms. Just to remind you, one septillion is one followed by 24 zeros. And that's a serious crowd. It's a whole mini universe. You are a mini universe. And that's something that you carry everywhere you go. And I always use a comparison like, our cell in comparison to your body is proportionally the same as our planet to our Milky Ways. And then again, our Milky Way is the same in comparison to, the well, to our known universe. And basically, you know, the microcosmos reflects the macrocosmos and the other way around. Same thing, really. You have now in your body balanced cells who are healthy and they are trying to live their life. But then, in the same time, in your body, you have some unbalanced cells, ill cells, who are doing everything and anything they can to poison the other cells and cells in their surroundings, epigenetics. And that's how the illness spreads around our bodies. 
Same thing with people on the planet, in our environment. You have unbalanced, unhappy people who will do anything to justify their behavior and will engage others into spreading their bad mood, fear, or negativity. It is all a chain reaction. That's really not the point of this information. I went over the subject again. So let me cut this video short and continue to the next one. It's called Subconscious Programming Number 2.